Today we're working on a Grand Design Momentum. It's a little baby toy hauler. Gonna be a real fun project. Uh, I think we're only doing uh, four 200 watt panels up top using existing wiring, uh, but this compartment is gonna be a little bit interesting. So let's see what we got going on here. We're gonna be taking out this panel. And there's a ton of vertical space in here to use. Sadly, we can't use all of it, but there's a ton of wasted space in here. This was all covered up and wasted before, so we're gonna try and use this and uh, put a custom uh, 280 amp hour, or not 200, a custom battery using 280 amp hour cells. We're gonna use eight of them for 560 amp hours of battery right here. And then a multi plus uh, 2000 up here, maybe a Lynx, some other stuff in there. And uh, so that should be fun. It looks like all the utilities are right here. We, we're even gonna reuse the existing PV solar line right there. Uh, this install could go very quickly. We'll see. So here we are working on the custom battery. This is uh, again eight of these 280 amp hour cells. Got the active balancer installed and actually we are planning to hook that into the Serbo's relay. It's over here. And that is going to turn on the balancer only at top state of charge which helps it work a lot better. Uh, BMS is going to be mounted to the outside. We're going to put some uh, indoor outdoor carpet around the whole thing. So in here we're planning to box out this, come up and over, and then uh, to keep that there for the utilities and maybe we, we might even run other things through here uh, for the install. So it's coming along. All right, another little update here while we're working on this. Uh, so this is the uh, little platform we've got going in there, but we had to pull that out because we had to run a couple of lines here down to the battery and for the trailer charging. But you'll probably notice there's a little conduit there. And check this out. A Grand Design did a great job on this one. Uh, conduit pops out right there. And now we can make our connections to the battery. Because what I like to, well, we're going to take that battery out, but I like to make the connections uh, to the existing uh, points. That way, if for any reason the system needs to come out, it can. We're not destroying anything. We're not. Uh, modifying it permanently in any way it can always go back to the way it was so and then this one for uh, trailer charging just kind of whatever the seven pin can provide and we've got a uh, lithium battery charging system on that so that's gonna be great so now actually we can uh, put this back in and I'll probably do that because JD is hard at work doing other stuff oh, yeah. all right here's a better look at that platform how that's gonna hold everything up there then we're gonna put the battery on top and then inverter and all the other stuff go up here. Well, here we are. It's uh, been a very productive day. And uh, let's review where we're at. We got a little bit more to take care of tomorrow. Mostly the panels, we haven't got the panels on yet, but uh, right now we are programming the multi-plus. So some of the things we always do is, well, number one, we always update the firmware right away to make sure we are up to date. This one's a little out of date. We'll get that updated right away and then we'll be back and I'll show you typically the settings we do. We are back after a successful firmware update. Real quick in the settings, what we like to do is on the charger side, course check lithium batteries um, the absorption voltage I actually leave at 14.4 quite a bit um, we can do 14.6 but uh, generally the BMS won't freak out or uh, cut off prematurely if you just let it creep up to 14.4 the balancer can do a little bit job or a little bit better job or let's do 14.5 just gives a little more headroom for the BMS to do its job. At 14.6, sometimes you'll get high cell voltage cut off a little prematurely. Uh, the other thing we like to check is weak AC input. Just lets it, lets it be a little bit more tolerant of inverter generators or generators in general that are not uh, super up to the task. And also dynamic current limit. That will also help. 
And then uh, the other thing we're going to do is so we're going to program the uh, the uh, MPPT charge controller, also program the Orion smart charger, uh, update the firmware on the Serbo GX. All right, one more thing we got to talk about is check out the uh, the links there. You see its light is on. That's because we always build this cable with a uh, 12 volt to 5 volt step down converter that enables that. So that way if any of these uh, fuses blow, it will turn red and then the appropriate right next the, the appropriate light next to it will also indicate which fuse is blown. We'll put the cover on there of course. But all right, I think that about wraps up where we're at after day one. Well, it's another day. And we are getting the panels put on. And as you can see, at our current location, we do have a lot of partial shade, so we probably won't get a ton of power out of this, but I figured I'd update on uh, what we're doing, where things are at here, and some methodology behind what we're doing and why. So one thing I want to bring some attention to is where we have the panels. I try and put them as close as I can to the side without hitting too many trees or anything that might happen. The reason for that is I want to get them away from the air conditioner for partial shading issues. As you can see right now, there's a shade from the air conditioner. If that was in tight, it would be shaded even longer. So. We do have a gap here, so nothing should really hit them, but I want to get it away. I've seen some where they're pushed up real tight there. You're going to get partial shading almost all the time, so want to avoid that. Other change is these two different screw types that we use to put them into the roof. Uh, this brass one here, or whatever color it is, that is the one that typically comes with these Z-bracket kits. We started going to this uh, more of a steel roofing style screw reason for that is you can see it's got a lot larger diameter much coarser tooth uh, still has the rubber grommet on top uh, but i feel like it attaches into this uh, membrane roof with the wood underneath and the wood isn't all that thick and these fine these fine threads in these uh typical ones they just don't grab I, I just, uh, so anyway, we've been going with this and this has been working out great, no problems. Uh, we took out the old panel. These Grand Design Momentums uh, are shipping with a 175 watt panel here. Nice thing is, got the port there, so that works out fine. Um, so we're gonna die core up over those, probably wait, that, wait to do that until the end because otherwise I'm gonna be stepping in it. So what I like to do is put a little die core down underneath each of the Z brackets, then uh, come through, well no, no, first I like to wire it all up, then die core underneath, then uh, screw it down, a little bit of die core on top, all good. Well, here we are finished up, everything's all buttoned down, we got uh, the, pan or the wires secured, going here to our branch connector, and uh, then let's head down to the uh, main install bay and uh, we'll see what we did there. All right, here we are. This is what the finished product looks like. Uh, in the end, the customer wanted to keep uh, keep this all open and visible. We were gonna reinstall the old uh, beauty cover here, but I think it just looks so nice, why cover it up, right? So, um, really proud of this one. The uh, came out really nice. Got the solar disconnect shut off there, inverter, uh, servo. I did use uh, the customer, I opted not to get the screen, but I did use one just to configure it, update the firmware, all that stuff. They will be connecting to that directly from their phone. Uh, I will maybe let them know that that's an option or just show it to them. And uh, yeah, oh, it looks like we gotta get the cover on the main fuse there. Other than that, I think this one came out great. Oh, and we also got the uh, everything down here buttoned up. So I think that'll about do it for this uh, Grand Design Momentum G-Class. 
from all of us here at Soda Solar, including Coco there. If you need any any help on your solar system, uh, we do sell, service, install, Victron stuff, anything, and we can drop ship. So check out our website, sodasolar.com. Thanks. Bye.